good morning everybody, it's uh, James here at Five Cycles. Uh, we're just having a refurbishment of the shop just now, which we're kind of getting underway with. Uh, we're nearly there, so it's starting to take shape. But the focus of this video today is on the bike that just arrived with us this morning, is the new Trek Rail 9.8e mountain bike. Uh, this is the one that we've been waiting for, so we're really excited to have it in the shop. I'm just going to do a quick little video going over uh, the frame and the spec of the bike. Uh, I'll touch on the motor that's on the bike, the Performance uh, Line CX Generation 4 motor, but we'll make another video detailing that more specifically. So it's just to let you have a close-up look of the bike. Just go from front to back and see just the detailing frame, a nice matte finish up top, um, a matte black with a gloss, uh, I think it's a Viper Red, underneath so you can see the contrast there between the matte and the gloss we've polished this one up, so it's looking great. Okay, so uh, this is the Rail 9.8, completely new 2020 bike. It's a full carbon frame. Um, it's Trex uh, patented OCLV carbon, so very good quality carbon. Carbon mainframe, carbon chain stays, absolutely everything on the frame carbon. But the coolest thing about it is you've got a lifetime warranty on that frame. Um, which, which, is, which is pretty impressive. Um, Trek have utilised, as of many companies have, the new Bosch Performance Line CX Generation 4 motor. I won't go into too much details about the motor just now because it can take, it, I could talk about it forever, but for me it is an absolute game changer in EMTV. It's so much better than the last Performance Line. Um, for, for many, many reasons. I'll just give you the basics. 75 newton meter battery. It's half the size, uh, sorry, excuse me, not battery, wattage output. It's half the size of the previous uh, motor. Um, it's now running a big chain ring and the integration is much, much better. And quickly, I'll go, you can see from the top, the Q factor, which is the distance between the two crank arms is much more in line with a normal bike opposed to last the last motor which was really really wide quite an unnatural position uh, so the reason why this performance line is really really good as well is because it's allowed us to shorten the chainstay of the bike well trek to shorten the chainstay of the bike much much more uh, giving a much more snappy feel responsive ride shorter chain stays shorter chain everything about it just makes it feel much more like a mountain bike uh, so read up about the Performance Line CX, the new motor, amazing. Um, we'll actually do a video on it too. Up front you've got a RockShop Lyric, uh, select plus fork, um, so 160mm of travel and it shares the same travel as the Slash, the non-EMTB, so 150mm on the back with the RockShock uh, Reactive, it's, a, it's an RC3 Debonair. Um, the, uh, the Reactive is a thing that Trek have developed with uh, RockShock and Fox as well to give you um, more responsiveness over, over the bumps, which, which you do notice the difference with. Um, we're running a 1x12 chain set, it's a 1050 on the back, uh, GX, GX up the front as well, uh, and a Carbon Line Pro bar, which is lovely. To be honest, off the top of my head, I don't know the width of that, but it's quite a wide bar and a nice short uh, line pro stem as well. Uh, it comes with a Bontrager drop line seat post. I've been really impressed with these. They're really easy to maintain, cable actuated, no mucking around with hydraulics. I like that too. Um, what else have we got here? Oh yeah, and it's running SLX brakes, so plenty of stopping power, which you do need on these e-bikes. Uh, it's got the Bosch Puri on display. Let's turn that on. There we go. So you can run through the different settings there of course the 9.9 .9 has the kiox at the front here instead which but you can you can update that if you want to or upgrade sorry it's the correct word uh, so yeah look at that what a stunning piece of kit um i demoed this in italy uh, i think it was back in august and it's probably the first first bike i've ever tested and just thought oh my goodness you know, this, this is crazy. I never even considered an e-mountain bike before. Um, but I, I do recommend, you know, whatever e-mountain bike, just get your leg over one. 
because um, you can get a lot of enjoyment out of it and it'll probably change your opinion. Uh, we have this bike in stock here. It retails at £6,250. We've also got the Trek Rail 9, you can just see hanging up there. And we have one of these in extra large as well in the black. If you're interested, please get in contact with us. Um, we, we know a lot about e-bikes here, so we're more than happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, all right, thanks very much.